Let's learn about lithium under 90 seconds. Lithium is one of the important drugs tested in NCLEX. So most of the time students they get confused and they think it's antidepressant. But my friends, it's not antidepressant. This is the medication which is used to treat bipolar disorder and it's a mood stabilizer. So it regulates the mood swings. And lithium is known for its very narrow therapeutic index. And the level for it is normal 0.6 to 1.2 milli equivalents per liter in the blood. And if the level goes over 1.5, your patient goes into lithium toxicity. And that's what they test in NCLEX. Now, let's just understand what causes lithium toxicity. So remember four Ds. So D for dehydration, D for diet low in sodium, decreased renal function, and of course, the drug interaction. So for example, Lasix and thiazide should not be given with lithium. Now, you also need to understand what are the signs and symptoms of lithium toxicity. So initially, patient will represent with GI symptoms, nausea, vomiting, anorexia. But later down the road, if we don't treat, patient will enter into neurological symptoms leading to confusion, neuromuscular excitability and ataxia. Now, let's just talk about patient education. Very important. Tell the patient to keep themselves hydrated and go for routine lithium monitoring, which is usually every two to three weeks initially. I hope you guys enjoyed. So stay tuned for more videos with FPNPC.